Corporate learning is entering a new phase as AI advances more quickly than organizations can keep up with knowledge acquisition. Today, Monica Wiederhold, COO of the Amadeus Fire Group, explores corporate AI learning, discussing the need for rapid upskilling at all levels, structuring both horizontal and vertical AI learning, and developing systematic ongoing learning environments that keep pace with technological change. Monica, we look forward to your insights. Thank you for the introduction, and I'm really happy to be here presenting the topic of corporate AI learning, super relevant topic, the Amadeus Fire Group and in the world. So it's all about the technology around AI, which is developing rapidly, accelerating in the development. It is confronted with a human knowledge gap uh, because learning takes time. So this raises an issue which is super important for any company in any industry. And I'm happy to deep dive how, what does this mean? How can organizations systematically learn around AI? Now, if I want to introduce systematic AI training within the company, who actually needs to learn? And we're very clear, it needs to be everyone, all levels, all functions, all seniorities. And that's really something which is new that in a super accelerated technology development environment, really from the supervisory board uh, to the trainee, from marketing to HR, everybody needs to learn and actually pretty fast. Now, what do you need to learn? We have divided into three, three clusters. Basically, we have to introduce broad horizontal learning into the organization. It means a lot of topics need to be known by everybody and um, that needs to be spread across the employees. Then we need vertical learning, specialized knowledge across different functions. And it's very easy an accountant learns different things compared to a marketeer or an HR person. And new, I think we, there needs to be continuous learning around AI to really keep the knowledge up to date in the context of the really rapid technology change around us. And number three, how do we actually do it? We need to introduce in the organization's personalized and systemized learning platforms. Ideally, uh, we include learning nuggets, learning bytes to ensure continuous learning. And is also a cultural element. The AI learning topic is super experimental. We need to try tools. We need to experiment around it, role model around it, and just do it on all levels and especially also from the top. Now let's deep dive a bit into the what we need to learn. So as I said, there are three layers of learning. So the horizontal learning that really is introducing basic knowledge for everyone in the organization. You might have some mandatory AI courses, legal obligations, AI basics like prompting. You might introduce tools like Microsoft Copilot in the organization, or you provide basic human interaction skills with agentic AI. So this is something that needs to be introduced across the whole layer in the organization. Then second, we need vertical learning, in-depth, specialized knowledge per function. And that really means any function. Finance and accounting is a good example as we, in our, in our portfolio, have uh, created a certificate for accounting professionals around using AI in accounting. So very specifically in accounting, and certainly that is a different knowledge from somebody working in marketing maybe focusing on more on creative tools, text to video, text to, to images. And again, in HR, you might use recruiting agents, learning agents, and other companies. Now, the third layer, the staying up to date with a high frequency micro learning content. That's something super interesting. So how to even cope with the constant new topics, tools arising from, from the technology development. So we need new tools, we need byte formats, and we need to introduce the learning as a high frequency routine, actually. Yeah. Can be a daily routine, should be at least a weekly routine. And I think already a monthly routine is not enough as uh, the development is 
really running so fast. Now, if you have organized as a company around the what and you're kind of aware what needs to be learned in your environment, I think the how is, is actually something super needed in any company, any size. There should be a learning platform layer providing an infrastructure where really a lot of knowledge can be enabled, can be accessed by the employees, can be provided in a, in a personalized pattern and in a fun pattern as well. well like in our company, Masterplan.com, we talk about the Netflix of learning. So really having a digital format where you can organize your content, but you also reach your employees individually along the learning process. And you can provide any horizontal, vertical knowledge or up-to-date learning. And then there's a new element coming in, and that's agentic AI. So in the new world, a lot of, a lot of learnings become very generic. However, there is a company internal learning environment and internal expertise that needs to be spread over the organization. And actually, I think that the hidden treasure in any organization is the super internal expertise, how sales works in this competitive environment of company with a specific product. There is a specific knowledge on operations, on how to onboard fast, and a lot of questions around how to increase the performance in the organization. And using agents to extract actually that knowledge translate it using AI into learning bodies, into learning bytes, into learning pauses, into different formats, makes them digestible for the organization, is super important. And I think that is a fantastic, really a fantastic way to um, access this hidden treasure of knowledge in any company, which is rapidly increasing performance and is helping the whole company to move to its best practice level. So you can access expert knowledge without any barrier. You can experiment with the knowledge bytes. It is very company specific. You can update daily. And of course, you can have asynchron interactive formats as well on such a platform. Now, having all these, like say, technical or digital tools in place and harvesting the power of AI to access your knowledge treasure in the company. In our opinion, it's not enough. Yeah, you also need a strong role model around learning and around experimenting. So a cultural element kicks in, which is needed as this learning exercise has to happen so fast. And now, in our opinion, um, that needs to be uh, the tone from the top and role modeling across all hierarchies. A simple summary. So everybody should learn in the organization across horizontal learning, vertical learning, and uh, continuous learning. And then you have to have a solid platform infrastructure as well as role modeling around learning and experimenting and a learning culture in the organization. And both are success factors for successful corporate AI learning. And it can be fun. I, I tell you from own experience, our new companies in our group, in Ubytes and masterplan.com are bringing a lot of learning excitement into the organization. And we are very happy to share this and to, to really provide the contribution to AI learning, to organizations, really helping economies to thrive through AI competencies. So. As I just uh, mentioned, we have new additions to our portfolio with Masterplan and with Edubytes, and they are really complementing our existing pillars in the organization, which are personal services and training. And they're coming in and really augmenting us, providing even white label academies as a service to companies and helping organizations to organize their AI learning around those topics new era ahead of all of us and uh, ahead of all our companies. So yeah, let's embrace it. Let's role model it and let's get organized around uh, corporate AI learning, increase our knowledge 
and help all our employees uh, to upgrade their skills and to to really thrive on this AI wave. Thank you. Thank you, Monica, for this inspiring and comprehensive deep dive into corporate AI learning. Your insights on developing horizontal, vertical, and ongoing learning frameworks and on utilizing internal expertise with AI provide a clear guide for organizations preparing for the future. For more strategic insights into Amadeus Fire, investors and professionals are encouraged to visit Seed 11 a for detailed presentations. Disclaimer. As described in the legal section on our website, seat11a.com, this publication is for informational purposes only. This means it is not intended to provide you with any investment advice. Any opinion or recommendation expressed by the companies is neither given nor supported by us and should not be considered investment advice from our side. Also, remember that any opinion or recommendation expressed is subject to change without further notice. The content is obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but we do not guarantee its accuracy, completeness, or timeliness. Seat11a.com and its employees disclaim all liability for any loss that may arise in any form from any use of the information in the video, audio, and on our website. We neither express any opinion on the future value of any security or other investment vehicle, nor recommend any investment based on the information provided. Please consider the publications and our website as a platform for companies to present themselves. You need to seek financial advice from an expert regarding the accuracy and appropriateness of the material presented or recommended by the companies in the publication. As we are just considered a publisher, we may hold and trade securities in the presenting company, whether it is a listed or private company. By consuming our content, you agree to these terms and the terms in our legal section on our website.